All right, so one of the viewers on my YouTube channel is asking if it's possible to substitute barium nitrate for strontium nitrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out. Um, here is the formulation I'm gonna be using. I'm only gonna be making 10 grams though because this is just a test. I don't wanna waste most of my chemicals, but I'm gonna do a real quick conversion so I can write down the 10 grams and then we're gonna go from there. All right, since we're making 10 grams, um, this is gonna be the, the amounts I'm gonna be using. 5.1 grams of barium or strontium nitrate, 0.7 grams of potassium nitrate, 1.9 sulfur, 1.8 magnalium, and then 0.5 of dextrin. The reason I'm showing you this is because this little, um, what do you call it, the scale, you can't see it on the screen, so I don't wanna try to show you guys on the scale and all that. I'm not gonna do that because it don't work. Um, so first, I'm gonna put the chemicals in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, mortar and pestle to kind of break that down a little bit. So first off, it's going to be strontium nitrate. And I'm doing this just to kind of help those if they're curious, if they want to make it, and not use something as toxic as, toxic as barium nitrate. Um, so from what I've read is barium nitrate is toxic as far as when it burns the vapors or smoke. Um, I didn't really see anything about like just touching it if it can cause any kind of damage to you. Um, but better safe than sorry and strontium nitrate and barium nitrate are a lot safer than using um, barium nitrate because I wouldn't want to be touching it either if it was if I know it's like something toxic like that. And 5.1. Okay. And like I said, we're gonna be making a strobe pot in this one. So that's what this video is. Um, next is gonna be potassium nitrate 0.7. So I'm gonna tear it out every single time. And 0.7. 0.7 perfectly. Tear that guy out, let me lift this up. Because this little scale likes to time, time out on itself if it's not measuring such a big amount. Sulfur, 1.9. Trying to be quick, because like I said, this, this little scale likes to time out. You just gotta be a little bit careful because you dump in too much, it'll throw off the weight and then it might not work as well. So be mindful of that. And that's about 1.9. Give it like the tiniest amount. That should be good right there. I don't want to put too much and then it throws it off. So go ahead and take this guy off. Put it back on. Tear that. Uh magnalium is gonna be one point. Eight. Now you are supposed to be using a 60 to 100 mesh. Um, I do have another magnalium in there. I just don't know what the mesh is because I got that from Skylight or didn't come with any information on it. So it could possibly be what I need, but I don't know. So like I said, on this one, we're just going to be using what I got. And I probably should have grinded up the other chemicals before adding the aluminum but I don't believe the aluminum on this one is going to cause ignition only because this is uh this isn't really easy to light with the lighter so um, you need a torch or a sparkler to light this kind of stuff so there you go 1.9 and the last one's going to be dextrin I'm not going to be granulating it or uh, grinding it up so crazy to the point where I'm going to cause this thing to ignite. So I'm going to do it very, very, as carefully as I can rather, but um, I really forgot to do the grinding before putting this aluminum in. But like I said, we're going to try it out and we'll see what happens. I did notice online people were using... Um, like a grease or something to turn this into like a little putty 
to um, to allow you to press it into like little pucks or whatever. Um, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to be using as my uh, what do you call it as my uh, not my binder but as a way to get it to uh, compress. So um, because it has dextrin, I'm just going to keep using water. And I'm going to grind it very slowly because the aluminum is in there. Aluminum is the one that you don't want to grind up with. So I'm doing this on my own. I'm just going to tell you now, please do not do this. I'm just doing it as a testing purposes. That way you can see what it is and how it works. But that doesn't mean that because if it doesn't ignite here, that doesn't mean to do it. Um, because the inside of a mortar and pestle has a uh, friction, um, like a gritty uh, surface, and that friction there could ignite this aluminum. I'm only doing 10 grams, so if this thing wants to flash out, it's not going to blow up, but it would just flare up and be, a, you know, a bright white. But all right, that's pretty much as much as I'm going to be doing there. I don't want to do too much grinding of this guy. So, like I said. Do not try this on your own, mixing it the way I did it. This was just my own accord. Um, and then what you want to do at the end is you can go ahead and uh, throw your weight on or your container on there, tear that guy out, and then dump in the composition that you just made. This is just to see what the weight is, and if it's pretty close to what you are looking for, like 10 grams. I'm pretty close that I know I have everything in there. Um, there's differences in weights, obviously, for the plus or minus of the uh, the accuracy of the scale. But and this is uh, 10 grams. So yeah, we I know I'm on. I have everything in there that I need. Did not miss anything? So what we could do is a quick burn test. Um, the reason why I well, I could just post a video as well of um, pressing it, allowing it to dry and stuff like that, and then posting it so you can actually see the stroke pot work, which I think I may do. Let's just see if I can get this guy to work. I'm going to leave my camera close. Alright, so this seems to have, what do you call it? Uh, react as my other composition did so I'm gonna say it's safe to assume that strontium nitrate can be substituted for barium nitrate it was just to kind of answer a couple questions online if you can do substitutions um, I am gonna do another video on another request that or someone was asking a question about uh, a substitution so I'll be looking through my comments and then I'll go ahead and try that video out and record that anyways that's it for now and I appreciate you guys for watching